This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 435209-1. That's C-F-L-R-O-A-D-S dot C-O-M forward slash P-R-O-J-E-C-T forward slash 435209-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodlands Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith Two at dot.state.fl.us. That's J E N N I F E R dot S M I T H, the number two at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65. Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. That's J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E dot P-A-R-A-M-O-R-E at dot dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s this information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications this project is proposing the construction of a diverging diamond interchange or a ddi along interstate 75 at northwest 49th street near ocala in marion county this work is a result of a Project Development and Environment, or PD&E, study for this location that was completed in March 2021. According to the PD&E study, by opening year in 2025, traffic on this DDI is anticipated to average 14,900 vehicles a day. By 2045, that number is expected to jump to 21,500 vehicles daily on average. The area bordering I-75 where this interchange is planned is a mix of residential, industrial, and undeveloped parcels. However, significant future development is planned in this area. The DDI will improve interstate and regional mobility within Marion County, accommodate future traffic growth, and provide relief to existing surrounding interchanges. This design was chosen because it has proven to increase safety by eliminating left turns across oncoming traffic. Unlike a conventional interchange, the lanes in a DDI cross over to the left side of the roadway. That limits the number of traffic signal phases and allows drivers to make a left turn without crossing in front of oncoming traffic. The lanes then change back to the right side of the road. The conventional diamond interchange has 10 crossing and eight merging conflict points, as opposed to two and six respectively in the diverging diamond. These innovative interchange configurations 
have been shown to improve safety, increase traffic efficiency, and be cost effective. This is a video simulation of the new interchange in operation. As traffic on the local road approaches the interstate, it switches sides at a traffic signal. After traveling over the interstate, traffic switches back at another traffic signal. By moving traffic to the other side of the road, the DDI eliminates the need for left turns across oncoming traffic. It also reduces the amount of traffic light phases, allowing more cars to travel through the interchange. For this DDI, there will be two through lanes in each direction with auxiliary lanes around the bridges. The interchange will include shared use paths and on-street bicycle lanes, sidewalks, and crosswalks. This DDI will connect to Northwest 49th Street in the northwest corner and create a connection from the DDI to Northwest 35th Street in the southeast corner. Marion County will be purchasing the right-of-way for this project. You can learn more about Diverging Diamond Interchanges, or DDIs, by logging on to safety.fhwa.dot.gov forward slash intersection forward slash crossover. Design for this project is underway and is anticipated to be complete in summer 2024 at a cost of $4.9 million. Right of way is anticipated to be complete in summer of 2024. Marion County will be purchasing the right of way for this project. Construction is anticipated to begin in fall 2024 at a cost of $59.3 million. This project does include right of way acquisition. However, the properties involved have already been in contact with the FDOT project team and Marion County. If you have any questions regarding the right of way process, you can contact Sean Hubbock with Marion County's right of way office by US mail at 412 Southeast 25th Avenue, Ocala, Florida 34471 by phone at 352-671-8699 or by email at sean.hubbock at marionfl.org. That's S-H-A-W-N dot H-U-B-B-U-C-K at M-A-R-I-O-N-F-L dot O-R-G. You can also contact Joseph Bracken District 5 Right-of-Way Manager by U.S. Mail at 719 South Woodlands Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5072, or by email at joseph.bracken at dot.state.fl.us. That's J-O-S-E-P-H dot b r a c k e n at d o t dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by September 5th, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment to be included in the public meeting record, please complete a written comment form and return it to project staff. All written comments will be responded to in writing after the public meeting. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 435209-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email 
at megan.owens at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-G-A-N dot O-W-E-N-S at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. Or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodlands Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5140 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 435209-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by September 5th, 2022 for public record. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 435209-1. Have a good evening.